Hello and welcome to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayed. In this episode, we will be covering two topics. That is, fetch values from different worksheets into a single worksheet and calculate values from different worksheets into a single worksheet. To begin, you will need a copy of this workbook. So download it using the link in the video description to follow along with me. In the first worksheet, that is total sales by location, I am placing my cursor in cell B2. And I want the total sales of Texas location, Washington, New Jersey, and so on. And each location has their dedicated worksheet here. So now to fetch the totals of Texas, I will simply press equal to in cell B2 under the total sales by location worksheet. Go to Texas worksheet and click that cell which is carrying the totals. That is the complete total of the sales. Then press enter. I have the total sales made in Texas. If I drag this down, it is not going to get me the totals of Washington or New Jersey. It is simply going down into the cells below this total cell in the Texas worksheet. So what do I do to get the totals from these worksheets? This is where the indirect function kicks in. Indirect function will return the reference specified by a text string and evaluate their display as the content. Let me show you how it works. But before I go there, I will try to fetch the formula text of the total sales. This one that just worked for us. So for that, I'll simply press equal to and type in formula text. That's the function. I need to extract the text of that formula. Press tab as soon as I see that function to complete the function. Now this is the reference I need to pass. Close the function and press enter. So that is how my formula is in this cell. So I will simply cut this away, press Ctrl X on the keyboard and put it here. Ctrl V. This is just for a reference sake. Now I am going to use the indirect function in this cell. For that, I'll just press equal to I and D. I have my function in my view. I will select that function and then press tab to complete it. Now it is saying I need a reference text to work with it. So for that, I will say take Texas as a reference cell, but we also need that exclamation mark and the cell reference followed with the name of that worksheet. So I will say ampersand in double quotes. I will say exclamation mark H6 and close the double quotes and press enter. There we go. Now, what we are exactly doing here is we are passing the word Texas from the cell A2 as the name of the worksheet and attaching the cell reference along with that exclamation mark. And that is how we are able to give Excel that reference using the indirect function. Now, if I drag this down, it is going to attach Washington exclamation mark H6 as the reference for that cell. And that is how it's going to get me the value from Washington sheet that is 71257. So let's see if I drag this down. There we go. Now, I, if I drag this further down, I am getting a reference error. The reason why I'm getting a reference error is because there is a space in the name New Jersey. So how do I deal with it? I simply need to enclose this thing in single quotations. So for that, I will go here in the first cell and my value that is the name Texas or New Jersey or Salt Lake City, whatever is the name, I need to enclose that name in single quotations. So for that, I will simply place a single quotations under double quotations at the start of the name that is A2. And then I'll go inside this double quotation where my exclamation mark is starting and then simply place single quotation. I also need to attach this one to the name. So I will place ampersand. So now this value that is Texas is going to have a single quote at the start and at the end it will have single quote followed with exclamation and the cell reference. Now if I press enter, I have that value. Now see what happens when I drag this down. It works. Great. Now we have perfectly fetched the values of total sales from all these worksheets. Now let's go to sales summary. Here we are going to calculate the sum of fruits sold in 
every location offline and online to add these numbers i have two ways to do it one is a long way another one is a short way longer way is i press equal to in this cell and then go into each of these sheets click on that cell click plus then go to another sheet select the reference cell click plus and then go on until the last sheet click plus and now i press enter so this one is going to get me the totals but there are high chances of error if there are many locations it's going to take me a very long time and look at that formula it's it's kind of crazy formula in there how do i avoid it how can i make it more smart so for that i will simply press equal to start typing in the sum function press tab on my keyboard to complete it then i go to texas sheet holding the shift key down i will click on the last sheet so now i have all the sheets starting from texas to my last location now all i am missing is the reference to the cell so i will simply click the cell close the bracket press enter i have exactly same value but in a more smarter way now i can drag this across done and drag this down expand this total cell and we have the totals already since i have my functions placed there to add up these numbers now look closely at this function what exactly it's doing this function is going from the texas sheet that's the first sheet till the last sheet detroit and adding all the values that is in the cell b4 of all these worksheets as long as you add any worksheet in between these sheets that is texas and detroit that will be added here for example let me go here and right click on new jersey and click insert and add a new worksheet just for the sake of demonstration let me call it new york and let me just copy these numbers from washington sales paste it here just for the sake of demonstration i'll just change the name washington to new york and if i go back to sales summary you can see the numbers are beefed up because the new york numbers are now added here so as long as you add anything any new sheet in between these locations you'll be good but in case if you add any new sheet before texas or after detroit that's the last sheet you will have to rewrite this function to get the values calculated in this totals i hope you find this video helpful in the next episode we will explore more dimensions of excel if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon to enable notifications thank you so much have a lovely one until next time